Laser. Yeah. I, I know laser. John definitely has laser uh, trouble. Yeah. Laser. <laughs> My laser's a sword. John, Here we go. <laughs> John will John will write an essay for you yeah. about Wolf Laser. You, you, you play a character that gets on John's nerves, and you'll win. <laughs> Anyways, Smashville. Let's get it. Stock taker against Dill. And again, you got the villager busting out. Was playing Weave Hit Trainer earlier on, but originally started Ultimate playing as the villager. And also has a, you know, a pocket wolf as well. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like the villager's the pocket at this point, and wolf is his main. Um, hard to say, honestly, because I feel like wolf is someone who you consistently can go to. Um, not a whole lot of bad matchups, and those that you do have, they're not so terrible that, you know, they call for a hard counter. Right. All right. Uh, <laughs> Just as a point blank as he tries to... Point blank Lloyd. Now, the thing is, you'll notice that his that little icon next to Villager, he, he uh, pocketed one of those lasers earlier. And not too much gyro action coming out from Dill, but he knows exactly what he's trying to go for. He wants to go for the ledge gem to try to get above Dill and get up behind him. Get the up smash ready to go. Drop a All bowling right. ball. He's going to have to respect that. That's why he has to fade Ooh. away. He held that almost a little too long there. That was nearly punished by back air, which would have taken the stock. Yeah, the second he dropped the second one, it was a little greedy for him. because It was pretty obvious Dill was going to chill back. He just goes for the arm rotor, point blank, gets yep. the kill. Dill single stock Nomuro Uno. Yep, and for those who don't know, um, arm rotor does have a reflector box on it at the very beginning, which is why you'll see Dill pull it out a lot in this matchup. Especially against something like Lloyd Rocket, it essentially means uh, Stock has to guess between, oh, do I get to go on offense now? Yay or nay. Um, which is a very strong option to have. I believe that was Jocket. He, uh, Jocket. Gyro did just play. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he just picked up the Gyro again, and he's not going to be letting go of it. Like like I said, that he literally deletes an option from Dill's repertoire. He has to play differently because of that. Uh, there's no timer on when you have to get something out of your pocket. You can just hold it forever, yes? Until you die. Yeah. All right, good call. So... Oh, he has to refresh pocket? Oh! I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know. So in that case... Every uh, 30 seconds, it refreshes. Good to know. Gotcha. That makes way more sense. I feel like that would be like, he deletes the option forever. Like, <laughs> can you imagine? So, another... Interesting thing uh, that you'll see Dill do here is that uh, Lloyd Rocket, when it first comes out, has no hitbox. Uh, so if you're confident that you can get a trade, it's very easy to run in and punish him on reaction if he does it too close to you. Uh, so you'll see stuff like Dill run in and use Arm Rotor, Rob Tornado, uh, the spin to win. All right, landing there. Too high of a percent to get a follow-up. Yo, was that a fish? Or did he just hold you? Yeah, he just... He, he got the landing done. De Devin, are you sure? 30 seconds. He's had that for a long time. Yeah, this has been... Uh... Hey, I feel like in Smash 4, it was different. In hey. Smash 4, he had to like refresh Diddy's banana. Like That was a legitimate yeah, thing. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So but in this game, maybe, it's like... Maybe it's gone. I don't yeah. know. It looks like he's sitting on it. He, he's had this for over a minute, so... All right. Good ledge cover option. Maybe the gyro is different, too. That could also be a thing. Ooh. It could be. That would be strange if they had individual rules for items, though. I feel like it would be consistent. Across. Regardless, my dog is holding on to that item forever. 142%. Yep, not letting it go. Got off from the shield against the Nair there. Not a whole lot of follow-ups after that. Has to give up his turn. And uh, Stock pretty commandingly holding the stage right now. Very difficult for Dill to get back against these fairs and bears. Apparently in the change from Smash Bros. to this, he can now hold it forever. Okay. <laughs> Good for him. He needs it, dog. He needs it. So, finally, with the death of Villager, Rob is able to reclaim his 99-cent plastic top. So he can throw it away <laughs> and immediately get pocketed. Oh, there he goes. There Flew he away. Goes. Lived to find another day. 89% on Dill. A lot of uh, projectiles coming out from your boy Stocktaker. Shooting off these slingshots forwarders and backers like crazy. Setting up the tree. Trying to make Dill fearful. That's what You saw him like go for a double jump air dodge in. That could be... Super punishable later on. There it goes the last. <laughs> there goes the gyro again. It is gone forever in this game. Yep. Uh, we'll see it again. Game two, I'm sure. All right. Stock. Nair. So, fun fact, Villager now can Nair uh, twice in a short hop, which is a very strong defensive option. Gets the reflect. Doesn't get punished for it. He was. I think he was waiting area. for a spot dodge because it looked like he wasn't able to get the grab out in time. So, mm. he was hoping for a spot dodge from Dill. Opted to go for a roll instead. That's a good option from Dill. He has to go through the Lloyd Rocket with the arm rotor. Looking for uh, this edge scary. guard. He lost a balloon. Oh, okay, no, he, he made it. He made it. 
Oh, but he didn't make it to the stage, man. That's a forward smash with his name on it. I think that was actually a pretty smart recovery coming from Stock Taker because when he loses both balloons, or when the balloon like goes away, if, if he we, hops, he does a little hop. So that's how he caught the we, ledge. I, I want to show you guys this real quick. So he just barely got Stock Taker by his sneakers on that one with the forward smash. But if you look, Dill ang Oh, no, he didn't angle it. No, he didn't angle it. How did he catch him? He was right inside of oh him. Oh, my God. I thought he angled it up. Never mind. My man got caught landing. He, he was right on the eyeballs, man. He touched the light bulb, but it was still hot. He was playing aggressive. Mm -hmm. Came in landing now with the neutral arm. Got to be careful. So Dill's going to sneak that lead because, honestly, that entire game, Stock Taker was, was pretty sol playing pretty solid, had a strong lead. Mm -hmm. And uh, just one fell swoop. Even right there, he was winning that whole time until he just got until killed. he died. Honestly, that's the thing too. Not only did he have the percent for a great portion of the game, but he had stage control and he had ledge control. And at least for me, that always signals, oh man, this guy's at heavy disadvantage percentage over a period of time. So it always feels like they're losing, even if they're getting trades, even if they're still managing to keep up. Um, and Dill was not very far behind, but he just spent so much time off stage trying to recover. I can't believe that forward smash killed at 88. Rage, man. I mean, yeah. 127% rage. <laughs> Gonna be able to sneak that away. Rob is strong, I uh. Rob is a strong boy. He's a robot, man. Look, if. Let's be real. Villager got his foot cut in the gears, and he got punished for it. That's how it happens. All right, here we go. Game two, town and city. <laughs> Gyro is already gone. Now, I'm sure that this is a beneficial stage for Villager, but it's interesting to see both picks so far uh, in the crossing stage. You so, got that home field advantage. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Tom Nook in the background currently running bets. Yeah, but this, uh, in, in all honesty, this is actually a pretty uh, strong stage for Villager. Mm -hmm. It's a wide open stage, has plenty of awkward platforms all over the place that allow him to be able to, like, you know, plant a tree on or drop bowling balls off of. As well as gives him a lot of breathing room in order to try to set up shop against Rob. It's an interesting combination between FD and possibly, you know, I would say it is the most bizarre uh, arrangement of platforms that we have in the legal stage list. Yeah, see if we got these uh, platforms that are chilling off stage as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. I like that bait out. Just runs away to try oh. to avoid that forward smash. Look for the down air. You see Stock Taker sp spacing himself just right that uh, Dill has to like go off super hard to catch that bait down air. It doesn't matter. Waits yep. for him to dash in, gets the up smash. That's going to be uh, sock one going to Dill. Yep. I don't know what frame up smash out of shield for Rob is, but it's quite good, quite fast, and it kills. All right, good setup there. Actually covers both sides, so he goes for the cross up nair, but still does the gyro on the other side to make it difficult to retaliate. All right, there we go. Gets the shield grab again, catching him, jumping into him. Got to be careful. Eating his jumps. And every single time you see him going for the bowling ball, Dills will always either fade away or just go straight ahead because he's going to get the invincibility off the ledge grab anyways. Mm -hmm. Playing off of the platforms like you say there. That's another really big thing is that he can go on those platforms and set up a tricky higher Lloyd rocket than normal without having to burn a jump, which means that he can fade in and out a lot easier. Again, that's the spot dodge Stock Taker has been looking for quite often with that grab. Finally connects it, gets the back throw, gets the kill. Oh, arm rotor. He's got a bad spot. The thing is, whenever the tree's right there, it forces you to pick an option quickly. And Stock Taker is going to capitalize on that. Because if, if you wait there and you play patient, he's going to chop the tree down on you. Yes. And then uh, I believe the tree catches hitboxes. Like, it'll uh, hold you in place in hit stun, yes? Yes. Yes. So very strong option at the ledge. Okay, looking for these nares off stage. All right, good grab. Dead. Yes. You saw him mash out too, but like <laughs> it's just at a certain percent you're gonna be able to guarantee that up smash. Mm -hmm. No real option where you get out alive. All Look right, at all these forward airs. Hold on a sec. I like can say this is the first time you see him committing to a sec another forward air off stage instead of going for a second bowling ball, mm -hmm. which I which I agree with. Because the second like uh, Rob commits that up B, he can't air dodge or do anything defensive anymore. So why not throw out a projectile at him? Speaking of throwing out projectiles, did you see how Stock Taker cleanly set up the I'm going to put this Lloyd Rocket down here to get you to jump? He put out the fair, and it was outright beat by Rob's Nair, which is a really strong thing to have in this because Rob does have both hits of Nair, the beginning and the end of it, to challenge that and then still get a hit in for his aggression. Good stuff. Very patient. There you go. The down tilts. Forward air to catch him landing. All right. Falling rather. Mm -hmm. 
That was basically a 50-50 there, high or low. Good he tech. Good call. Uh, Is he gonna run out of oil? Oh, uh, he might. No, uh, no, he no. had the air dodge. Still knows. Uh, tried to go for the gyro, but uh, he hasn't got it. It's still not yours. Yep. Stock's still holding on. It's a habit, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, very good there. So Stock had to act quickly. If he had not, that absolutely would have gotten him when his invincibility ran out. And Stock Takers brought this to the final stocks again, but however, this is looking vastly different from the previous one. He's already at 122%. Dill still sitting healthy at 27. Uh, he just beat the tree. I... Oh what? my god. Can I see that again, Devin? <laughs> he, he, Can we see that again? He what the? nared the tree. If there were ever an argument for the power Shut up. of machines over nature, that would be it. <laughs> That's symbolic as hell. <laughs> that is actually... Oh, we're, we're destroying the planet, no. guys.